Hello dear friends, this is Hello Hollywood, that means you're in for some exciting news, let's get started. Taylor Swift arrives in Madrid to continue her European tour of the Eras Tour. After two concerts in Lisbon on May 24th and 25th, this week it's the turn of the Spanish capital. The Estadio Santiago Bernabeu Stadium will host two concerts of the singer on Wednesday 29th and Thursday May 30th. This will be her first performance in Madrid since 2011, in a very different experience from the current one. She is now one of the most sought after artists in the world. Swift's first and only concert in Madrid was during her Speak Now World Tour, in which she presented her third album. At that time, the American singer did not have so many fans in Spain and had not yet stood out in the charts. Her concert at the Wizzing Center failed to sell out. In fact, only 4,000 people attended a show that delighted those present. The concert included songs from the Speak Now album, as well as some hits from her career. In 2020, she was about to return to Madrid nine years later. The Pennsylvania was going to perform at Mad Cool in Madrid with her Loverfest, a tour that had gone through several festivals in Europe before her arrival in the United States. However, a few months before COVID-19 appeared and the pandemic cancelled the tour. The Swift of 2011 has little to do with the Taylor Swift of 2024. She is now a global star and one of the most important artists of the last decade. The Tortured Poets Department, her latest album, became the most listened to album in its history in just 24 four hours, surpassing 300 million plays. This success is also reflected in the prices of their concerts. The 4,000 Swifties who enjoyed the WeSync 13 years ago paid between 35 and 60 euros, with the option of a VIP pass for 175 euros. The cheapest tickets for the Bernabeu sold for 85 euros and the most expensive for 226. The VIP packages cost around 500 euros. In a matter of hours it was sold out, and it was decided to do a new concert. My Spanish is not very good, but I love Madrid, she told the 4,000 fans in 2011. Some nod like this is expected before the 65,000 fans who will come out each of the nights to the Santiago Bernabeu. The American will perform in Madrid in two days more times than in the last 15 years, with the memory of her first concert but knowing that everything will be very different from the first time. So there you have it dear friends, share this video and leave your comments, bye!